What's up gang, it's Ryan here from Ruck.Beer and today we're taking a look at the new Go Ruck Rough Runners. Now, this is just a first look review. Uh, I've only had these shoes for a few days, only been able to wear them kind of just like through daily life of, of going to work and stuff like that. I've not had the opportunity to run in them or ruck in them, so take this initial review for what it is. Uh, my hopes is once I've put some miles in it, both running and rucking, I'll be able to come back with a follow-up video. But this is just for everybody who wants to get a little intel since, uh, since they just released these shoes uh, to get a little idea of what's going on before they pull the trigger on purchasing them. Uh, to begin with, these are the Rough Runners, uh, named for Teddy Roosevelt, who according to the marketing material that I received from GORUCK was like the first person to ever run for just the fun of and health of it. Uh, whether it's true or not, I don't know, but these Rough Runners uh, are a pretty slick shoe. I am, uh, just in the little bit of time that I've worn them, I'll just say out of the box, super comfortable. Whenever I get new shoes or attempt to get new shoes, uh, you, can, you can ask my wife, I am just overly sensitive of what's going on in my feet uh, to a fault to where like I have the hardest time trying to find a pair of shoes that I like. I often feel like the uh, princess in the pea or, or Goldilocks, you know, like it's too hot, it's too cold. Um, there's always little nuances of shoes that kind of just sit uh, not right with me. Um, I have not had any of those experiences with the Rough Runner. Just out of the box, super good. Some of the areas that often with a shoe I, f I just get really sensitive about are the, uh, the, the cup right here around the ankle. That usually rubs me a little weird. Or uh, the heel cup in the back, um, which if you've seen my... Um, Mac V2 video. Uh, that's that's a little something that, that bothered me about the Mac V2s, which just as an update feels a lot better now. Um, also, usually in the toes, as I walk or as I run, there's usually just something about the amount of cushioning or something in the front where, like, I don't I don't want to feel my toes or think about my toes. I just want to walk. And and often with shoes, I don't know if they have just not enough cushioning or or what in the front, but Normally there's something that I feel a little picky about that or I need to lay some special to, to get them to sit right on my foot, but just out of the box, strapped them on. These have felt super, super comfortable. Um, one of the things when I opened them up and took my first look at them that was really interesting, and I'm, I'll get a better close-up shot of this in just a moment but right here on the inside around the ankle and right back here in the heel area there is this um this 3d molded uh what they call a heel lock and it's almost like this extra padding that kind of sticks out from the interior of the shoe that is designed to help hold and, and and basically hug your your heel into the shoe and the first time I saw it I was like man what is that but but sure enough it is crazy crazy comfortable um, I, I've had no issue with heel slippage at all normally like I said sometimes I have to use the extra eyelet to kind of lock down my heel into shoes I haven't had to do these do that with the rough runners so whatever this little 3d uh, printed uh, heel gripper is uh, I'm, I'm, I'm into it I definitely love it uh, when it comes to the shoe, obviously you can look at it and it looks, you know, we've got like these super uh, marshmallow midsoles here. Uh, stylistically, the, the contrast black and white just, it's not my favorite, but over the last three days it's, it's actually kind of growing on me. Um, I'm not sure at release if there's other colorways, but I do look forward to seeing how they play that out with different colorways in this, uh, in the Rough Rider. Uh, but when it comes to this midsole, uh, they have designed it in such a way, uh, they call it the gradient 
density midsole. And so as I understand the technology, essentially in the heel area, the, the cushioning is, is more firm and there's a gradient nature to it to once we get to the ball of the foot and more towards the toes, it's a little softer and more springy. And the idea is that there is stability in that heel strike and, and almost a little bounce coming out of the forefoot uh, while walking and running and rucking. Um, I feel like af before I read that, I feel like I noticed it. Like I felt like there was a little, a little extra love in my step. And, and as I mentioned, a lot of times with, with running shoes, like there's something about it where I can just feel my toe. All, it feels like my toes are too long and like they they're, they're like touching the ground or something. That's weird. I don't know. I just, I've, I'm not experienced that with these. Uh, they just feel really good in the toe box. As my foot leaves the ground, there's, a, there's just enough bend, there's enough spring and propulsion, and uh, whatever, this, whatever the uh, gradient density is, I'm super digging it. When it comes to the uh, tread pattern and the, the rubber here on the bottom of the shoe, it's not super aggressive. Uh, certainly looks like it was designed for the streets, but it is a, uh, a, a blend of rubbers so that it's actually designed so that it's good both on road and like on some trail running. Uh, again, haven't run in it, so I can't attest to that, but just walking around past couple days have been rainy and wet out, uh, good grip on the ground. Even when I come into the stores and my shoes are all squeaky, still really good traction. So. Uh, tread pattern seems to be nice and comfortable. Um, heel drop, heel toe drop on this is supposed to be 10 millimeters. Um, people are going to have all kinds of opinions about that. Uh, I, I'm not someone who gets real into heel toe drop, and you know, you give me six millimeters, 10 millimeters, I, I probably couldn't tell you the difference putting on the shoes. I will say that, again, it's really comfortable. Like my, my walking around, my standing, I have a stand-up desk standing all day long. Uh, it just has felt really good. Uh, got some reflective, uh, this little you know tab to help put your shoe on. We've got some reflection back there. Nice if you're out at night running or rucking. And, I mean, that, <laughs> that's generally it. I, I don't know what else to say except for it's a super comfortable shoe. I think it's gonna feel great when I go run. I think that that uh, gradient density midsole is going to transfer well to when I put the ruck on and have that extra weight. I think it's just gonna absorb it and, and help me uh, ruck for more miles. Personally, I'm a rucker that prefers uh, running shoes, so that is very exciting for me. That's all I got right now. Um, the initial first look, first take is, I'm super glad I have these. Uh, if you're interested in them, I would recommend picking them up and giving them a try. If you got any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Like I said, over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna put some miles in both running and rucking and I'll have a follow-up video to give you a full review of what I think at that point. So other than that, see you next time. Oh, almost forgot. If you do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, and uh, have an awesome day.